So we have Shaka Khan in Audacity. Um, I can play it for you, let you hear it. Chaka 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 Khan. Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan. Shaka Khan, let me rock it, let me rock it, Shaka Khan. Let me rock it, that's all I want to do. Shaka Khan, let me rock it, let me rock it, Shaka Khan. Etc. It's so obviously it's five and a half minutes long. I'm not going to play the whole thing. Um, but what I do want to do is to use this first section here as an example of rap. So I can demonstrate to my students what a rap is, how it sounds, etc, etc, etc. So I'm only going to use this first bit here, which means I can take from, let's say, about... Well, let's just double check this. What happens there? Okay, the rap's finished by that point. Where does it finish? Okay, so it finishes around about the 30 second mark. So if I take it from somewhere just beyond there to the end, I can now delete. And that all just goes away. Simple as that. I can now use the um, fit the project button and that will fit the project on the screen again. And this wee section at the beginning, I don't really want that either. Chaka 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 I wanted to start when he starts doing the shaka can just before you can see where the, the main tune starts, where the music starts. So I think it's just about there. Let me just check. Shaka can, let me. Yes, it is. So again, take from there to the beginning, delete. So suddenly my track is down to being, what's that, 34 seconds long? What's that? That's ideal. That's ideal. It's not too long for people's attention span. Um, but it's also it's, it's long enough that you can understand what I want to do. So let's have a listen to it. Shaka Khan, let me rock it, let me rock it, Shaka Khan. Let me rock it, that's all I want to do. Shaka Khan, let me rock it, let me rock it, Shaka Khan. Excellent. So what I now want to do is to record my voice underneath that or over the top of that, whatever you want to think of it. Um, just explaining what a rap is, how it's um, uh, speaking in rhythm, how it's rhyming couplets, all that kind of stuff. So, first thing I have to do is to make sure that Audacity is hearing me. So I can click here, check the monitoring level. Yep, that's picking me up okay. Maybe up the volume a wee bit, the recording volume. That looks a bit better. Okay, and I can be ready to start. Okay, now as soon as I start recording, it's going to give me a mono track down here, and I'll be speaking into that. So here we go. This is a feel for you by Shaka Khan. This is an example of a rap. A rap is basically speaking in rhythm. And if you listen closely, you'll see that it all rhymes apparently as well. That'll do, I think. So, having a listen to that now. This is a feel for you by Shaka Khan. This is an example of a rap. For you. A rap is basically... Yeah, it's there, but it's not the easiest thing in the world to hear over the top of all this noise. And you can see why. It's a visible thing. Look at the height of the waveforms compared to over these. Okay? Now, I could, if I wanted, select my overdub and go to Effect and Amplify. But there's another way I can do this. Okay? And it's going to use a tool that we haven't used before, which is this one here. It's called the Envelope Tool. Okay, first thing I have to do is to use the time shift tool though to put this exactly where I want it to appear. So I'm going to put it just about there. Okay, notice I'm having to scroll up and down a wee bit. That's a bit confusing, a bit annoying. So again, I can go to the view tab and fit vertically. So everything fits into the screen without any scrolling going on. Perfect. Now, so like this track, and this is what I'm now going to work on. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the volume of this track down during the times that I'm speaking and then back up at the end. And that's where the envelope tool, or the envelope tool, depends how you speak, comes into its own. So I click on there, and I get these bands up here. And these bands can be thought of as like the, the overall volume of the track. And what I want to do is, first of all, I'm going to zoom in. Oops. Zoom in, thank you. Okay, and I want it to be full volume up to there. So at that point, I'm going to click the mouse. See how my, my cursor's two arrows? I'm going to put those either side of the band, I'm going to click the mouse there, and these wee dots appear. That means that everything up to that point is now fixed. I can now put another set of dots, let's say, 
doesn't really matter where, let's say there. And I can then click and drag these dots. So, oops. So that it goes, so the volume goes down. If I want to see how it, it jumped, if I go too far, it sometimes jumps right down to zero. If that happens again, you can just click off and then come back on again and you can adjust it like so. So let me play it from about here. This is I Feel For You by Shaka Khan. And you can see what happens. Okay, the volume comes down, makes my voice more easy to hear. Over the top of that, let's take it down just a wee bit further, just because we can. Why don't we? This is I Feel For You by Shaka Khan. This is an example of a... Now, I could then, for example, go right to the end of my bit here, click to set the point there, and that means everything up to that point is now fixed. Click another point and drag it back up. So we're going to play from, let's see here. You'll see that it all rhymes very carefully as well. So if you think of somebody like a DJ with a set of faders, that would be the same idea as sliding the fader down for the volume for here. And it means that I have the, op the option now of putting it back up in the silences between my speaking. Exact same thing, set a point and then set another point up to there. Set a point, let's say there, put that up to full and then another point there to bring it back down. This is I Feel For You by Shaka Khan. This is an example of a rap, and a rap is basically speaking in rhythm. And if you listen closely, you And I can do the same again quickly in here. Oops, set a point, like so. Another point, bring it back up. Another point, let's say there. I can move that around. Another point there, bring it back down. Perfect. Basically, speaking in rhythm. And if you listen closely, you'll see that it all rhymes very carefully as well. Now that's perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Except for this ending now. Okay, if I go back to the selection tool. This ending is just going to go... And stops very abruptly. I don't like that. And it's too long as well. So let's just take, let's say, where does it where does it stop? Where's the rap? Okay, so the rap stops at this wee point here, and then it it's gonna goes into the song at that point. So let's take it from there to the end and delete that. We don't need that. And now let's take it from let's say here to the end. And I can now go to the effect menu. And I can fade it out. And you can see the effect there. It's a very straightforward effect. It just fades everything out to silence. So now my whole 30 second... Um, this is I Feel For You by Shaka Khan. This is an example of a rap. And a rap is basically speaking in rhythm. And if you listen closely, you'll see that it all rhymes very carefully as well. And that's a, a good example of an educational way that you can use Audacity using a commercially available track just to demonstrate a feature that's in that track. Remember, of course, once you've finished and it's edited and it's and you're happy with it, to um, combine it into a single um, track, what you would do, select everything, like so, go to Tracks, Mix and Render. That now becomes a single stereo track, which if I play from there... This is I Feel For You by Shaka Khan. I can then export that as I want, as a WAV or an MP3, and away I go from there. Perfect.